human theory, if we're showing the creation of the universe, we're also showing the birth of math. Therefore, what I've showed you in principle should be able to solve any 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 math problem, conjecture that that there is. And one that today we'll talk about the philosophy of, of prime numbers, and then we'll get into the Higgs boson a little bit, and uh, see where it leads us. Just ad libbed a little bit today. Okay, we we left off with E. Showing us the tie family. Only problem with this is, is like I said, I had the math to, to, to show this that that when you do the equations, it leads to this. The only problem with this is we showed the gluons. And he mixed with the leptons, what are the values of the leptons? And so 189 should have it. Which is actually um, divided by 4 would be the up court. I mean, uh, excuse me, days off day. Please excuse the glasses too. I forgot my yellow glasses. I spent 20 years on death row in the dark doing this. Me and bright lights, we don't get along. Okay, so we're going to do this. We're going to take this. Now, mathematicians will tell you that you get the golden ratio. And pay a lot of attention to people that dedicate yourself to science and math. Ancient Greeks, they dedicate themselves to science and math. They felt that the golden ratio was beautiful. And the truth of the matter is, is just how I proof pi you can get the golden ratio. And let's see what we have since we proofed E with what we used in, in pi. Let's take that. Let's take E to the power of the golden ratio. Let's see what we got. And we got 504, 316. And these are just principles. We'll get into all the particulars later, why I'm doing certain things. But basically, you know, I want you to see the beauty of math. And really what is this? What created us all? Math created us all. It is, it is the language uh, of the universe the conscious universe. In psychology, I mean in philosophy, what we call panpsychism. I believe uh, a philosopher named Chambers uh, coined that. Okay, we got right here the 504. What is that? 16 times 315 16. And what this really is, and what we're going to get into, is this is more like a religious experience. It, it was for me. What it is, is you start believing. And it's, the math shows you more. And you get to the point where it got to be real. And a lot of people in history, or one person in history, if you ever heard in the movie The Man That Knew Infinity, yeah, he, he told you, he said, listen, I don't do mathematical theorems. Uh, uh, I don't know what you want, and he went to England, but he ended up doing them. But this is how you discover it when, when it comes from within. Because if you get out of your own way, your consciousness will teach you math because your consciousness was created by math. So this is giving us a little bit here. So let's have a little bit of faith in math. Okay, let's take... Uh, let's, Let's take this right here. And let's put a ratio, a relation, right here. We've got 165 over 4, 3. And there's our 208. 
Okay, so the universe is showing us a little something. Okay, but let's do this. Just like we did with, with pi and, and e. Let's take that same spirit. Because the universe, math is teaching us. That's who taught me. That's how I know all of this. Uh, we got 19. And what is 19? That's our pi left on. Minus 19, 189. So we have the 16, which is a muon left on. We just symbol something like a, a U there. And then, then we got the tie. Okay. Now, so we're on the, we're on the uh, subject of beauty. One of the most beautiful equations, well, I think it is, it's called Euler's equation. Now, not today, but in the future, I may... Uh, show you why, what imaginary numbers get values because we'll get into that, we'll get into negatives imaginary numbers is, begins with the uh, square root of 1 because remember my postulate is this is the birth of man basically the Euler's equation Is that it has pretty much anything in it, but but the really the really beauty of this is I'm about to show you. But first, let's set up our neutral W and our net neutral B fields. Okay. This rudimentary model, and then the W, due to our dark term, our undefined term, add up all these, and in our B, it goes all the way up. Now, if you add up all this, let's say, uh, let's double this just like we did E. Okay. All right. Could you give me uh, E? Sorry about that. E to the power of a uh, pi, please. Twenty three. Twenty three. Point one four zero six nine two six three. Okay. Now what do we have here? We have a twenty three. Seems like the math is showing us a little bit. And this is really the feel how you want to get for it when you investigate yourself. Because you can do this yourself just like I did. Okay, let's take the 692, 1402378832. You now you remember the superposition. You also remembered in pi where the positions doubled, and you remember superpositions we added this to do beta radiation. Just just the most simplest superposition that we could do. Let's take 372. There's one position. Let's add another one. Too. Now, that gives it a little bit. And a, a true mathematician, you know, he's like, you know, well, that's nowhere near close. You know, we need more evidence. There's probabilities. This could be, <laughs> it'd be damn hard at this point through all the videos. 
There might be a little something more to this. Well, let's take Euler's equation and show our, 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 our neutral W and our neutral B. Let's take 2, 3, 1. What is that? That's the 116 plus 115, 2, 3, 1. Okay, there's some evidence. Now let's do a relationship right here. Does it have the same symmetry as before? What does it give us? 926406. Oh, and what that is, folks. That's the value of a Higgs boson in multiples of a proton. I discovered that in a death row cell without a calculator before the CERN particle cell rate owns it. It has billions of dollars. It got the smartest people in the world did it. And really how I did it was paying attention to what math was teaching me. So that, that would be my uh, that would be my advice. Now, in case anybody's wondering, hey, Glad gives a little something else. Well, just take 116 times 115. And what is that? Well, that's gravity. You take this value right here. And hit it with G1 and G2. Two objects. Square the radius. Hell, we, we don't show that why radius is this. We proof pi. Right now, whoever's watching this is, is, is among the most advanced humans in, in, in the world, and you didn't have to go get a PhD or nothing. Stay tuned. I appreciate your support. Follow and like, because I'm a human being too, man. All right.